Hold on, here we go. Recorded live. They, they, they Welcome they to the know. OSI Technological Harassment Conference Line. We are OSI, Organized Stalking Informers, also known as OS Informers. We are here to educate and bring awareness and exposure to the crime syndicate known as Organized Gang Stalking and Electronic Technological Harassment. This conference call line was open for victims of electronic technological harassment to talk about and discuss this crime. Please keep the call on topic and subject while on the line. Views expressed by individual callers does not necessarily represent or reflect the views of OSI or its members. Warning. No reading of relayed scripts or instructions of any kind or you will be muted from the call and chat room. With that said, welcome to the OSI Technological Harassment Conference Line. Hey, for all, the new li- for all the new listeners on the line, we're talking to targeted individuals. We're trying to get similarities of their targeting. Uh, we're trying to get what type of targeting they're under, physical or electrical, what type of harassments they're getting. And we're finding out there are a lot of similarities in these harassments. Oh, JT, go ahead. Uh, I was oh. just wondering if uh, somebody else would like to speak up. Oh, okay. I need a laugh. Kim, you need a laugh? Are you on? Need a laugh? No, um, uh, the person I'm talking to knows what I'm talking about. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's a whole other area of humor, isn't it? Where's the old ship? Yeah, I don't know. It's uh, not my field, fellas, so I can't. Uh, What's the frequency, can't... Kenneth? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, you should. Um, yeah, I'm not going there, man. But yeah, it's, uh, <laughs> it's interesting. Yeah, you can be my straight man, Kate, if you want. I'll just you know fill in the gaps for you. But if you ever get to New York, like I was saying before, you know, in the city, you, you if you're on Facebook, you Facebook me, and unless I'm you know uh, you know. <laughs> In a situation where I can't get out, so to speak, you know, grab some yeah. coffee. You, me, and Mike will hang out. You know, start building a crew, which is what I've been, I've been trying to do. You know, You're so building what? Welcome. Building a crew, getting getting people together, but not. Yeah, but not I know. I Facebook. tried doing that in, in Connecticut. In oh my God, I got bloody nailed after that. Yeah. <laughs> well, you know, they, they you know, Connecticut. But, so you know, trying to reach out to people is like pulling teeth. You know, everybody's afraid. You know what? But well, we're here, and, and we and and uh, you know what? I, I okay. oh, Mike's asking if you have a Facebook page. No, I don't. No, um, uh, well, I, I I do, and and you're welcome to. I mean, I have no problem even uh, throwing out my email to you right now online. See, I don't care. You know, I mean, I don't. If you got a pen, uh, Kate, is it? I'll, I'll give you my email right now, and the world can listen if they want to. I'm not gonna let fear. You know, keep, yeah, we're, 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 we're conquered because we're divided. It's that simple. Well, it's the human part of us that fears, you know. It's hard. It's hard so to take, surrender all and trust it, all you gotta pay, the Lord. You have, yeah, I do. You I do. You got Okay, I'm going to give my email. And anybody out there can take it if they want to get together. I mean, I, if half of everybody is fake, if, if eight out of ten people are fake, fine. I have two more friends that are real. So this is my yeah, email. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. Amen. Uh, we're going to take a break real quick uh, uh, for a minute. Uh, we're about to go off the five-hour uh, limit. Uh, Dr. Robert Duncan, would you like to say hello to everyone? Yes, yes. I'm I'm sorry. I just joined, and, uh, you know, Dwight and I have been friends for quite a while, and I think Keith the Bird is on, and Cynthia is on uh, the call as well. And so, yeah, I want to say hello to everybody and wish them the best of luck, and uh, I wish I hadn't missed this uh, call because I gain a lot of insight and collect data by different people's uh, telling me their their different traumas, what they're undergoing, finding the common commonalities, uh, commonalities, and uh, and that helps me with my research. So I apologize that I came on so late, but hello to everyone hello. and uh, stay strong. Hey, no, Robert, I uh, would, is like there any way? You, excuse me, uh, Robert, we'd like to invite you on one night just to listen. Yes, I would I would love to listen. I, I wasn't I, I'll, I'll let informed you know about night. this call ahead of time, so I just well, heard about it. Are we going to get back on? Yeah, yeah well, I'll let you know about minutes? it. Well, Robert usually yeah, goes to bed early. Uh, yeah, uh, my my bedtime is midnight. Minutes. 
uh, Mountain Time. Yeah, how about we set something up and I'll let you know when we're having a good call and, and you come on and maybe give us some uh, input. Yeah, I, I can give some advice, but I'll I'll learn a lot too by listening. Um, you uh, will about what people are going through. That the data is very important to me. Um, well, this is what's helping me write principles. my book, Robert. I, I didn't is want to give my any... secrets all my secrets out, but I'm going to tell you this is uh, <laughs> what's helping me write my book. All right, that will that will be very interesting and important. So yeah, let's have that conversation. So let's make uh, another call. Okay, I'll do that, Robert. I'll let you know ahead of time, and uh, when we have enough people on the line with enough interesting stories, uh, such as we did tonight, uh, I should have let you know earlier, but uh, we'll have that talk. And we appreciate you. Uh, sooner than later, I hope. We, we appreciate you coming on tonight. All right. Thank you, sir. Well, yeah. Thank and you, and you. everybody that uh, God bless. reads his books, be sure to get uh, – Project Soul Catcher, and he's got a new book coming out soon. Yeah, uh, called How to Tame a Demon. It's a beginner's guide uh, for TIs, those that are newly indoctrinated, what they should expect, the mistakes they should avoid. But it's wow. sort of a damned if you do, damned if you don't uh, chess game, and I just want people oh. to know the consequences of every decision they make and how far ahead uh, these people uh, have thought uh, to discredit the target and to destroy their lives. So it might give them a little bit of an advantage. And it's a very short book, very terse answers. It's written in a form of frequently asked questions because I get a lot of questions. I don't have time to answer everybody individually. So I decided to put this in a very short, cheap book. You know, It should be like $11 on Amazon uh, and uh, it should out? help uh, a lot of like, good people. I'd say I'm about five days away from the finishing writing, uh, probably another week for editing, and then should be published uh, a week after that. But I'll, I'll put okay. an announcement up. Yeah, make, right. make sure you get a copy of Project Soul Catcher. Very interesting book. Uh, it's actually book two. Book one was a little too technical for Robert to put out, but... Uh, yeah, I'm going to put that out eventually, but it is mostly transhumanism, the positives of the changes that are going to go on in our society. Uh, and we can steal this technology, and I shouldn't say steal, but take it away from the evil side. The, every technology is neutral you. and show all the positive uses that this has in medical and uh, uh, other, other uh, uh, applications. And then it gets very much into the, the science, the mathematics, and physics, which will bore most people. And that's part of the reason that it hasn't been released. Uh, and then uh, uh, The Matrix Deciphered, that was never supposed to be published. It was never finished, never edited. And I finally decided, okay, I'm going to edit it properly, <laughs> grammar check it, spell check it. Uh, get the facts all straight, and then I'm going to uh, publish that as well. So I have a few books coming out. Yay. Very good. <laughs> we're excited. Uh, yeah, we're very excited about. Thank uh, you for your support. God getting bless more you. Of this out. Yeah, uh, Cynthia Hamill, uh, who is a good journalist, she writes uh, on Blogspot. Uh, so Cynthia, are you on the line? Yeah, I'm here. Hello. Hello, <laughs> Cynthia. Hi. Hi, everybody. <laughs> Can you tell us about your blog spot? Oh, yeah. Well, I basically started this because I, on my Facebook account, I thought that I was keeping this ongoing huge journal where I could just, like, segment that information and then have this huge, you know, four or five book series coming out. And then, lo and behold, Facebook started erasing all my writing. And so then I was like, oh, my gosh, you know, I've got to kind of cover my assets here, you know. So I wound up, um, like, 
uh, redoing my blog spot thing um, under uh, the research rabbit hole, W-H-O-L-E, under blogspot.com, and that thing started taking off. I just wrote it for a lecture that I was doing for about an hour and 15 minutes, and um, it was with the Paranoia Con, and I was speaking on electronic harassment, and I thought, wow, you know, I'm going to have to write this, uh, you know, like an overlay or something up in front of the class to explain what I'm talking about. So why not just turn it into a blog? So that's how I started the whole blog. And then within like uh, two weeks or like two to three weeks, I had like over 10,000 views on it. So that thing started taking off, and now it's got 14,000 views on it, and I've not even really promoted it. I I like stopped promoting it the first two weeks that I was doing it. So a lot of people are um, finding it, and, you know, of course it's got all these links and stuff that I found in my own research on um, stuff that's documented on the internet about electronic harassment and Dr. Robert Duncan's work and Dr. John Hall's work and then Dr. Barry Trower's work. Um, so it gives all the links that I found that explains the technology to the best of um, what I found. And so it's it's been fascinating and it's it's been a good thing, a good way to get the word out on what's going on where people have all the links together and, and can just yeah. YouTube stuff. Yeah. Could you repeat okay. could you repeat the address please? Sure. It's under um the research rabbit hole, W H O L E. Okay. At blogspot dot com. And it may actually be dot blogspot dot com, something like that. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Yeah, you can yeah. I'm still Google working that. on a location. You're gonna you're gonna show up, right, for our OS Informers uh, meet and greet. Now, is this the one in San Diego? Uh, no, it's gonna occur in the uh, Inland Empire area. Sure, I, I'd be interested in going if I can. I'm still doing a lot of work right now with the 9/11 Truth Group, but if I've got you know a free week, I'd love to come. That sounds really really cool. Sounds great. What was the date again, Johnny? It's gonna be on Saturday, December seventh. Okay, and what was that location again? Well, uh, it's going to be uh, – well, the one that I'm uh, negotiating with and waiting to hear back on is going to be in San Bernardino. Is that California? Okay. Yeah, San Bernardino, California. You know, you, Do you know where Rancho Cucamonga is? I've heard of that. I think it's not too far for me. Is it between San Diego and Vegas? Uh, yes. It, it's closer to San Diego than it is to Vegas. Oh, yeah. Uh, uh-huh. I think I've been through that area. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, San Bernardino is about 315 miles from Vegas, and from San Bernardino to San Diego is about 115 miles. So, yeah, we're a little bit closer to you. It's about 115 miles away from you. Yeah. Is that near Del Mar? Great. Pardon? Is that near Del Mar? No. Del Mar is on the coast. We're inland. Oh, I see. I'm sorry. Okay, okay. Is, uh, Kate, is Kate also on the line? I'm Kate, would you here, like to say buddy. hi? How you doing? Good, you? Just fine. Kate from Massachusetts? Yep, hi, Mary. Hi, hon. <laughs> oh. oh, my God. Hi. Hey, it's a love fest, love huh? <laughs> <laughs> it is. Uh, That's what we need. We need this. It is, uh... uh Robert, I didn't realize you were involved with this group. I just got on last night for the first time. Uh huh. Well, I was listening to Dwight, so. Uh... Yeah, they caught me. Yep. <laughs> uh, no, we um, we were having a little group chat, and uh, I was disappearing on them, so they got to wondering where I was. They caught me. Yeah, we we actually play a, a little joke. Uh, this is Robert Duncan, and uh, every time we do a, a a talk show, or whatever, some of us try to come on to make the other person laugh. <laughs> that's yeah. why I'm doing that. Laughing is the best medicine. Robert, I asked, I asked you to, and you didn't do it. Oh, I know. I didn't. I did. Well, I got on, and I thought you were talking to a different Robert. You know, I didn't know who was all on. <laughs> but no, we're yes, glad I, to yes, have you on I am Chip. <laughs> we're, glad oh to have you, we're glad to have you on tonight. We're about to hit our five-hour limit time, 
and the call will end, but after three minutes, we'll have another call. Uh, but I'm sure uh, every most people are probably going to go to bed by then. But, Robert, we'd like to have you and Cynthia and Kate back on one other night. Amen. Yeah, that would be fun. Yeah, that would be fun. Be good. We're, we're a good group of people. We, we don't trash anybody. We don't uh, play games. Uh, we, we're straightforward. We try to be straightforward. We do have some harassers, but we get rid of them. Uh, OSI does a good job at getting rid of the harassers. Uh, oh, be sure to join the osinformers.lafora.com forum and for all your information. If you'd like to read more information on targeted individuals, uh, presently they're undergoing a rebuild for a Dotler Forest site, but uh, as soon as it gets built back up again, I'm pretty sure you can gain a lot of knowledge there. Uh, a lot of people have put information into this spot and uh, on targeted individuals through uh, physical stalking all the way to electronic stalking. We co try to cover all areas. And Robert, you're welcome any night. Uh, you and Cynthia and Kate, uh, I'll have to send you out an invite. You can yeah, in. please, please send me an invite directly. I, you know, I you'll find uh, you'll find a lot of information and uh, yeah, you can do that. That'd be great. Yeah, you know, every so often I'll I'll get a new insight from some TI that tells me one of their tactics, one of the tricks that they're pulling and I want to expose I want to expose all of them because they tend to use you know some subset of, uh, of this very large uh, set of tactics in either group stalking or electronic harassment but I want to expose every single one of them so when a new TI you know and those are the ones I'm really trying to help those being just brought in the program have no idea what to expect what's going on I want to tell them, this is what they're going to try to do. This is why they're trying to do it. Don't fall for it. It's all trickery. And, you know, just uh, get them ahead of the game before the damage is done. Doctor. So, yeah, it's important to me. Yeah, a lot of my, uh, a lot of my targeting is uh, vehicular stalking. I do get some pet stalking. I yeah. do have some countermeasures with uh, some of the um, techniques that they use. So, uh, if it, oh, if I, and I would love to hear that too because I'm publishing uh, what, and these are anecdotal stories. Uh, we haven't done mass studies yet because we can't get the government grants to do this on a large scale, but at least the anecdotal stories of what works and what doesn't is very helpful for new TIs. So, I'd love to hear those stories too. Yeah. I well, feel Robert, so privileged uh, you're on the call. I've heard so many good things about you. He's awesome. <laughs> yeah, he is. Uh, and Kate is also. Uh, Cynthia oh, is also. Awesome. Cynthia's a fine journalist. I know. Man, there's so many good people on this call. It is a love fest. Yes, <laughs> <laughs> yes uh, if you get a chance, um, maybe we'll uh, publish at the same time, Robert. Uh Compare publishings. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, well, absolutely, yeah. That'd be great. I remember your your books focused on gang stalking, isn't that right? Mostly. No, Is no, that, I'm an no? electronic stalk. Uh, oh, okay, cover, electronic stalking. I okay. cover electronic stalking. Uh, I've actually put a few of my pages on the OSI Informer site. Uh, no, I started out getting the torture immediately because I caught them immediately. Yeah, I, I, and you, I caught on to and, it immediately. Yeah. There, there where, are do people you, can... where do you go live, ahead. Dwight? Are you, are you in Texas? You sound like you have a southern accent. I'm, I'm in South Carolina. Oh, okay, I'm well, southern accent. Okay. <laughs> no, but, yeah. totally different but, accent. but for for some of the defensive work, shielding and jamming technologies that I want to work on, my biggest problem is I don't have TIs that are being attacked electronically. Most of them are purely V2K, which, you know, is one form of electronic attack. But I want the people that are being tortured in pain. Their bodies are being tortured. So That's you would be a good subject uh, to bring into my lab when I build some of these devices to test on or ship them to you or something. Dwight, what about Mike Mason? What about Mike Mason is, is a... I didn't mean to interrupt on that and speak for Mike, who's 
trying to get some rest here, but I, and sorry, my name is, is JT, sir. It's an honor to just be on the same line with you. But but I have a friend, Mike Mason, who has saved my life, I'm sure, uh, by just being my friend out here in New York. I'm a TI. And um, he suffers, uh, I feel bad he's sitting right here, with just physical pain, just like intense exhaustion. As it yeah, is, yeah. It, it's just un- debilitating exhaustion. You have to take all these caffeine pills to keep going, which are eating up his kidneys. You yeah. know, and I worry about him big time. And he's in such mental pain and physical pain. And so I don't know yeah. if that would, um, if he would, if he has the, the the thing specifically that you're looking for that would help you with your test. It might. I, well, I'd have to, yeah, listen to all all the different electronic attacks he gets to see if he falls. In hey, the I'm category. sorry, guys. I got knocked off the telephone. Somebody well, didn't want me talking. Okay, <laughs> we hear you. Um, so, uh. Yeah, that that would be interesting to me. He, what part of New York is he living? He's in Queens, but but the great thing about Mike is he's he's an awfully awfully bright guy, and he's very articulate and very very thoughtful. And so you, you're going to get a real quality feedback to, to the questions yeah. and the experiences. Yeah, so I thought that yeah. might be handy for you too. But we're, we're, we're uh, he's in Queens. We're both in the in the boroughs out here. And, and I'm uh, here to d- d- yes, sir. Dwight, have you uh, given uh, your specs yet to other people for your sleeping quarters that you find relief in to see if I it put, works with other yeah. people or yes I put some pages out on the OS Informer site and I'm sending them out to individuals. The thing is, some of the individuals don't even have the money. They're they're so uh, yeah, that, that's attacked. The, the, yeah. They don't even have that's the money the to case. afford some yeah. of the protection. And that's but, the problem. Uh, Once somebody knows, by the time they know they're in this program and they're attacked, their finances have been depleted. And so, yeah, yeah they're, uh, they're there's basically. something I'd like to add about this. Caroline. That, uh, yeah, that's me. Hello, everybody. Hi, Robert. Hey, so pleased Hi. to have you. So honored. My name is Caroline Henry, and I'm a TI in Texas. My two kids are TIs as well. Uh, one of them is 19 years old. And I wanted to add um, to what you were asking, Dwight. It's very difficult to not only convey to your kids what's being done to them, uh, we're um, being electronically harassed. It's out of this world here. Um, not only the V2K, everything else, you know, it's very difficult. So. Okay, I, I didn't fully quite understand that. If you're the TI or your children, are the TI, yeah. and of course, the goal of every TI is to try to get sympathy and understanding from those around them, especially their families, or from, you know, the police or FBI or cops, and that's unfortunately a very, very rare circumstance. So all you can do is give them information and say this matches up with my symptoms, but if you harp too much too long, all the time to, let's say, your children. I don't know if you're the target or if they are. Um, you, well, uh, uh, you're going to you're oh. going to end up t- turning them off uh, to it. So you've got to do it in doses, and you've got to give them the right books. Ask them to be sympathetic. Ask them to read. But remember, they have no power. There's nothing they can do to help you. This is much much bigger than you think. This is worldwide. Oh, Mm-hmm. Robert, have you heard Dr. John Hall's latest interview on uh, uh, the Alex Jones show? I did. I actually, well, I, I watched part of it. Yeah, I got part he, of it. He, yeah. he, did, he did talk a lot about blocking and protecting yourself. I didn't catch that part. I'll have to rewatch it. Um, I haven't heard of his blocking techniques. I'd be curious. And I'm uh, surprised he didn't consult me since I've been studying this for <laughs> over a decade on defenses. Um, what I saw him talk about on the Alex Jones show was uh, the, uh, I think it's the ICAAT, uh, Jesse Beltran's group, in a, in a microwave Faraday cage showing how a radio frequency detector on a target uh, triggers frequencies and then on the control group, those not targeted have no radio frequencies being emitted from them. 
Uh, that's pretty much all I saw him say on the Alex Jones show. Um, so I might have missed part of it. I'll have to rewatch it. Yeah, um, he did talk a lot. I, I, I made sure I caught this, and I'm going to yeah, record you, it myself. You have, yeah, do you have time to tell me briefly what he was saying? Yeah, he said uh, all tar- targeted individuals should learn blocking techniques and learn to block with uh, metals, mu metals. Uh, okay, mu uh, metals, correct. And the reason for mu metal, uh, obviously, superconductor, which I actually create in my garage, but it costs for a coffin sized liquid nitrogen container $10 million. So most people can't afford that. But mu metal uh, dampens uh, the magnetic field, and you, they're using a couple really advanced surveillance techniques uh, called electron paramagnetic spin resonance, and they're also doing nuclear magnetic resonance on certain ions in the body, and the body itself is a, uh, an antenna. So these are better classified as resonance weapons than they are uh, directed energy weapons or microwave weapons, all, all those frequencies matter, elf, weapon, elf weapons, but the, the truth is they're resonance weapons. And so if okay. you can deplete the magnetic field, which mu metal dampens it, yes, that will, should alleviate some of the programming, some of the pain that they can uh, give uh, into your nervous system. So that's can a, you, that's a good, good example. Advice, so. Can you give us some examples of mu metal? Uh, mu metal is a nickel uh, alloy. Uh, you can buy it in sheets off the internet. It's about when I bought it, it's about seventy-five dollars for three feet of it. So it's not inexpensive, and especially if you want to create a little sleeping cage, you know, that's probably about two two hundred bucks, three hundred bucks. You're going to spend to cover your cage with mu metal. And uh, the other thing is, you know, a lot of people say, well, use aluminum or copper. Well, it's good. It's better than iron because it's not a diamagnetic substance. Uh, so the magnetic fields of the earth or anything else can't, uh, will end up going through iron. But um, those other substances can only reflect a little bit of radar energy. And if it's ELF goes right through it, uh, it, the, it's kind of useless uh, on the most part. And what you should be looking for is what they use on the stealth bomber, uh, ceramic and rubber, and then the third ingredient, oh, Teflon. And uh, there's one more that's uh, top secret. Um, but those substances actually absorb uh, radar energy, and you can put microwave absorbing cones and stuff. But most of this is below, way below microwave frequency. Um, they can use microwave weapons, and it's you know full spectrum basically that have biomagnetic uh, uh, effects on the body. But uh, it's really the lower frequencies that you should be concerned about. Everything below one megahertz, one megahertz and below is what you really want to block. And uh, in my volume one project, Soul Catcher, I go through the mathematics, the theory of why that is. So that guy that went on that killing spree, uh, Alex, Alex. yeah, and uh, he said, my yellow weapon. Well, he wasn't lying, but it's more complicated than that. He also said he was hearing a microwave hearing effect, and they really are different effects. So the full spectrum is used. Um, but uh, for the pain that's being created in the body, uh, it's usually uh, something below 1.4 megahertz. Um, so I'm curious what uh, Dr. Hall was saying in terms of shielding, what he recommended. Uh, well, he didn't really recommend anything on, on what I heard. I haven't heard the whole uh, interview yet either. I plan on recording it uh, on my uh, using my uh, Camtasia studio, the whole interview. But uh, mm-hmm. I don't, the part I heard, he really didn't get into it yet. 
Uh, so you recommend a, a safe place as being like in a completely tiled bathroom since the yeah. ceramic? Yeah, yeah, that that will d- dampen the effects. And from the TIs that I've studied, a completely tiled bathroom when they're being targeted so heavily, they think they're going to fall and collapse on their knees. They would go into a tiled bathroom, and they're able to have far less pain, cut it into a third. And, uh, and that's also a property that uh, absorbs uh, certain frequencies, uh, uh, radar frequencies. So, yeah, a tile, tiling, believe it or not, is one of them. Teflon has a different property, and it uh, causes a static charge And part of the weapon system they're using, like I said, was electro spin resonance. And if you can change the uh, field slowly and constantly, and you'll have to figure out a device that does that, discharges it, and then adds free electrons on it, like from a negative ion generator, that screws up the receivers. Uh, They have to have it constant in order to resonate the body, the, the nuclear structures of the atoms of, of interest in the nervous system. So that's another technique. And it all requires magnetism, which is we're flooded with that. That's the Earth's magnetic field. But there are ways that you can create an artificially intense magnetic field, too. Uh, it's very complex science. The greatest so weapon would, uh, system ever built. So would rare earth magnets help you? So the, in your they, opinion? they would in the sense of initially, um, and especially if you put the poles against each other. So, you know, a North Pole against the North Pole or a South Pole against the South Pole, that actually helps temporarily but the system adapts and so you would have to create uh, uh, coils that are constantly changing the magnetic field around your environment and your body uh, in a semi chaotic manner and there's their systems can't adapt to it so it's uh, it's you know if you have some electronic engineering background, this is quite possible. Okay, uh, Robert, we're about to go out of our five-hour time limit if we get cut off. But that, that'll be the end of this show. Another one would start up. If everybody would uh, keep quiet in the background. Uh, is there... Okay, uh... What is Robert? That? I don't know. We've we've got people in the background. Uh, yeah, Robert, I can hear him too. Yeah, it's the, probably my uh, silicone. Here right somebody next told to me silicone back. rubber would help. Is that true? Silicone rubber. Um, I don't. I. What is it? I don't know. I've I've never done the experiment. Um, and that's a that's a problem. We have we have theory. We have. A few TI examples that I've done in my labs, but uh, in order to do a true scientific study, avoiding the placebo effect, a control you need a control group, and you need uh, a, a way that TIs do not know whether it's a fake, uh, you know, environment to protect them or a real environment to protect them. And you have to do those studies to be scientific. We just simply, it's too hard for when I had my lab up and running to get people from all over the country to fly in and do the experiment because most people can't afford to fly in and uh, and do that. But that's what we eventually need to do to prove scientifically and without a doubt to Congress, to a court, that there is something going on. What they have done in the past is they've said, these people are just electrically sensitive. 
Well, that's still an amazing thing, even if that's true, that humans can pick up electricity and radio waves that easily. But that's just their cover story, you got to realize. Yeah, again, we're about to lose our time uh, time frame. Uh, our five-hour limitation will come up uh, if we get cut off the line, uh, which may happen at any minute now. Uh, we, we would have another call after about three minutes. But, uh, Robert, uh, we really appreciate you being on the call tonight, coming on the call and giving us this information. Uh, he's <laughs> told all TIs that uh, if, if you get attacked very bad, the bathroom, a fully tiled bathroom is going to help you. Uh, yeah. yeah. Kate, we, that's yeah. why they don't want me in the bathroom. That's right, Mary. There you go. God is good, okay. huh, honey? <laughs> okay. Uh, Robert, we'd, we'd like to start a funding to to do these experiments and uh, to be able to afford people to come to you and uh, find out, you know, get ex- exact information that we can carry to court. Yeah, and, uh, do, it, and do it scientifically. I, I tore my lab down. Oh, a couple of years ago, I had to move, and um, and uh, I just got into writing more than the science of it. I I got all the science and knowledge I wanted, but I'd be willing to start up another uh, lab. And I was thinking of maybe using one of those funding sites like Kickstarter uh, to get some funding for the oscilloscopes and the spectrum analyzers uh, and other you know pieces of equipment that I would need to do it. Hey, well, I'm 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 willing to start up that uh, funding. Uh, I will do what I can yeah, to I uh, do that. Yeah, I sent you a link if, last night. Hey, Dwight. If we can get everybody's backing, yes. Yeah, I, yes, really Johnny. quick, Doctor Duncan. I I want I I myself would like to thank you. Um, you're um, you're a blessing to everybody. Um, if you would kindly add me, I I put a request for a friend request on Facebook. If you could do that, that would be great. I do okay, uh, moderate. I'm, I'm uh, very so, specific. I, I get so many harassers and <laughs> stuff. So tell me, tell me your name, so I'll accept okay. you. But I rarely accept All right. any friend requests. It's, okay. So okay. yeah, just send me a friend request. I'll remember that. Yeah, yeah. yeah every Johnny, once in a while. Johnny's a good guy. Yeah, yeah. Hey, hey, Johnny, I, Johnny, can I, can I piggyback that, Johnny? Is that can one of you guys give me the voucher? Dr. Duncan, I didn't mean to interrupt, fellas. I was uh, wondering if you could approve of my friend request, too. If, if this gentleman will give me an, an okay, then I'm a good guy. Okay. Uh, who, who is this All speaking? Right. That yeah, was this speaking. <laughs> I know. You're, we're mobbing you, sir, so to speak. Uh, you know. Okay. And here, here's my my sort of uh, standard is when someone asks me for a friend request, I go, I look them up, make sure they have a history longer than two years, they talk about this topic somewhere on their Facebook page. Do you, yeah, do you no, fit that category? Uh, I mean, uh, Dr. Duncan, yeah, you look at mine, five. you'll see it. Okay. All right. Yeah. You'll be accepted. All right. I'm about to put my bio up on it, but yeah. But it goes starts in 2005. Yeah, mine yeah, I prefer yeah. a picture, if you would, but oh, not everyone. There. There's a picture there. I have a picture. Okay. Yeah. Um, of Are my, you from New York? Uh, JT uh, okay. is. Okay, yeah, he's JT, got a good friend. Tip. Tell Mike I said hey. I, I will. See I your will. Photo and, and on Sophie. Facebook right now. Oh yeah. You know, that's uh, I'm sad to say. He's a good friend of mine. Uh, of, of Mike Mason and Sophie, his dog. Uh, they've been a that's friend right. of mine for a few years. Uh, <laughs> so I know these guys. Uh, you gotta watch everybody's it. been good. Got anything to leave us with, Robert? Oh me. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, well, I mean, <laughs> just word, uh, <laughs> and, uh, it's words of encouragement. I, I mean, think about what we are doing. This this is more important than the revolution we had uh, from the uh, uh, oppressive forces of England. This is more important than the Civil War. We are fighting for the very right to our souls and minds. This is the greatest war, and you should feel privileged that you're in the know and that you are part of this fight uh, to free people.
people's souls. I mean, this is against the devil itself. So I, I respect all of you for uh, being part of this. Yes, and as I understand it, they're attacking everybody. It's just those people that have noticed and can't be controlled that are attacked the worst. Yes, exactly. They're trying to, they're trying yeah. to control the whole population. Yes, spiritual warfare. No. It's, All right. Uh, psyops. Psyops. Yeah. Well, I'm. I got to get to bed here, and so okay, I'm going to say good night. We appreciate. Good luck. God bless. Yeah, Thanks we God appreciate God. you coming on, Robert. Thank you. Good All night, right. Robert. Good night, Cynthia. Good night. 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 Dwight, this is Jeremiah. I just called in and caught just only the last part of what he was saying. Hi, Jeremiah. Okay, well, then you can you can listen to the recording as soon as uh, this call ends. I'm pretty sure OSI will get it back on the uh, recording line as quickly as possible. All right. Uh, I've been trying to get Robert to come on, and they missed me out of the chat group, and somebody caught me and told on me. Uh, but I was surprised that he would come on. Uh, he did come on. Uh, we'd like to have him on again. We'd like to have him on an, an undisturbed call, but you got to remember to listen to what he's saying and try not to interrupt. An undisturbed. Further questioning from any individuals before the call ends? No, uh, other than Dwight, we need to get Dr. Duncan back on and Cynthia Hamill and even, you know, anybody that, uh, you know, is of uh, noteworthy mention back on this uh, call in. Well, we we could probably get Peter Rosenholm to come on. Uh, Peter's pretty uh, knowledgeable about targeting. Uh, And Kate. We need, need, yeah, Kate. Kate is pretty knowledgeable. Oh, Maybe sure. one night we could get uh, – Cynthia has is, is, is got a good page again. You need to go visit her page. She has a lot of conspiracy uh, theories on that page. Uh, we're, we're hoping one day Dr. Robert Duncan will uh, create a web page where we can go and uh, just just hear what he has to say. If, if, if any of you haven't read any of his books – uh, there's Project Soul Catcher, and as he said, in a few weeks, he'll have another book coming out uh, with uh, some practical antidotes for uh, targeted individuals, um, some practical things you can do. And again, remember, he said ceramic absorbs some of these waves. So if you're heavily targeted, go in the bathroom and grab hold of the water pipes. Uh, the water pipes will provide a grounding if they're uh, metal into the ground or turn the water on a little bit to give it a trickle and you may get a grounding effect through yes. the water. Yes, uh, yes. Get in the shower. I'll Take a shower. <laughs> if, you've been, if, you, if you've been being attacked real hard, jump in the shower. Just the water drun- running off your body down the drain will give you a grounding and plus it will give you blocking. Uh, a lot of liquids help block out some of the uh, uh, frequencies. Yeah, microwave uh, uh, doesn't like a lot of weather change. Correct. Uh, I always it hates when it rains loud. Yep. But, uh, remember, uh, go to your bathroom. If you have a fully tiled bathroom, floor and, and walls, go in the bathroom. And if it's only half walls, sit down on the floor, hold the water pipes, uh at your sink, sit near your sink, or, or find you a, a ground, or get a grounding device. I'm going to start making these devices and sell them at cost. I'm hoping that they can be, uh, with shipping now, I checked on the shipping, it's going to be about $5, so uh, I'm trying to keep the cost under 20 bucks. And with this device, you can stay grounded all the time. And you can reduce the energies being sent toward you. You can be more relaxed and calm. You can stop some of the mental telepathy that's making you get up for you physical people that are making you get up and uh, look out the window or hearing all these weird noises in your home. 
what you have to do is you stop, have to stop listening to all this stuff. Uh, at night, uh, sleep with some headphones on, playing uh, um, binaural beats uh, for sleep. They have different frequency binaural beats. Look it up on the Internet. You can download these binaural beats for free. Uh, you can sleep with them. And they also cause interference from any subliminals being sent to you through these tinnitus of the ears. Um, I, I still wholly believe in reflectics. You can buy rolls of it, four-foot uh, four uh, rolls of it, 50 yards long at uh, Lowe's. Uh, I made me a new device last night just for my head. Uh, I still use my body cover, but uh, I notice sometimes my head... I would kick around and knock knock it out from under me. So I made a uh, three eighths inch PVC frame and reflect fixed it, and uh, with a flap in the front, and I just slide under it. And I used it last night or this morning when I went to sleep, and I slept nine hours undisturbed. And it was a wow. it was a goal for me that uh, I Yay, haven't seen in God. six years. Uh, I'm sleep de de deprived. They wake me up every two hours. Uh, sometimes they wake me up, startle me, and make me jump out of the bed. And I go, why did I jump out of the bed? Uh, they used to send me exactly. noise. Yeah, they have coils, right? Yeah. You get a coil yeah, they, bed? That's possible. Well, I use Reflectix on top of the coil bed. It's the only way I could get back in the you bed. You bed grounded? Uh, my the bed has a sheet of Reflectix. No, it has a sheet of Reflectix under the uh, bed uh, sheet. Under the bottom oh. sheet, you have a sh whole sheet of Reflectix, and it blocks out all the heat. I don't get hot anymore. I don't get feel like I'm being cooked on the bed. Wow. Uh, it was until I discovered this stuff at uh, Lowe's that I was able to return to sleep on a bed. Previous to that, that, I could only sleep on a cushion couch. Hey, no Dwight. Springs, no metal. Yeah. You just gave me an idea. Um, my mom used to be a quilter and made some of the blankets that we used to use. Couldn't uh, the Reflectix actually be put inside the blanket? Oh, that's true, too. <laughs> yes, it could. And idea. it would probably it would probably reduce some of the heat uh, because... Otherwise, the reflectance against your and, body and, would reflect and, and your body. And not only that, it uh, wouldn't be aesthetically, um, you know, sour per se. You know, correct. Um, yeah. It wouldn't make you look the, like uh, you're crazy. Exactly. <laughs> the, the reflectance stuff are they like pretty similar to Mylar and emergency blanket? Uh, the reflectance is a double Mylar bubble wrap type material. It's uh, insulation for the home. If you go to a home site. Look for a silver bubble wrap looking material. It is double mylar uh, with bubble wrapping. And, and and even laying on it, you don't pop the bubbles. It's pretty strong, pretty sturdy stuff. It outlasts the mylar emergency blankets by years. Uh, I'm still using the 50-foot roll I bought four years ago when I started uh, sleeping on a bed again. I just used up, let's see, I probably got six foot left. I used uh, about uh, four foot, maybe five foot on the uh, new design I made for my head last night. Uh, I used a PVC frame for it, and I used uh, the 3M Mylar uh, tape, which is uh, uh, UL1811B. Dash FX. Uh, you can buy that also at Lowe's. It's a mylar tape, uh, or you can use the aluminum tape, the tape that I advertised earlier, a 3M metal repair tape, foil tape 3381. Um, you get uh, it's almost two inches by 50 yards, and it's about seven or eight dollars a roll, which is pretty cheap. Uh, and one roll usually lasts me uh, a little over a month. And I use this on my hands. I use it on my uh, thighs, uh, on a pair of long johns. Uh, 
I firmly believe in what Dr. John Hall said about blocking uh, on his last interview with Alex Jones. You have to block. You have to uh, use your bathroom tiles. Remember what Robert said, that ceramic tile will absorb some of the micro, uh, some of the uh, frequencies, uh, especially in the low ranges, such as the one megahertz to two megahertz ranges. Um, again, he mentioned uh, mu metals. Um, if you can find a uh, metal distributor, you know, ask them what type of mu metals they have. That's a nickel alloy. Um, you can uh, go on Google and uh, uh, look it up, and I'll tell you exactly what a mu metal is. Hold on a minute. Uh, uh, mu metal suppliers. There's mu metal suppliers online. Uh, they have like a two times ultra perm 80 metal shield made out of mu metal on eBay for forty six ninety five. Uh, I'm going to Wikipedia now and I'll explain what a mu metal mu metal is a range of nickel iron alloys that are notable for their high magnetic permeability, composed of approximately seventy seven percent nickel, sixteen percent iron, five percent copper, and two percent chromium or molybdenum. The high permeability makes mu metals useful for shielding against static or low frequency magnetic fields. Well, I personally uh, recorded a frequency of around 100 megahertz for one of the frequencies. I know there's another frequency. You, you recorded what? Uh, there, there are high, very strong signal around 100 megahertz. Right, right. You might record a high frequency, but sometimes they pig a piggyback these these low frequencies, the ones that they're messing yes. with your mind with, yes. are but one to is, two if, megahertz. If we, can, if we can identify the carrier frequencies in terms of strings, yes. that is the, the key Bingo. thing to identify them, because the the modulation Bingo. of the lower frequency within it, it could be using a uh, frequency hopping as yes. well right. within that frequency. So it's very difficult to detect. So if they have peak of a different frequency or a different uh they have a larger bandwidth basically so you just have just to lock on to a particular frequency but the lower frequency the pulses will be on on a sticky back it's just like every other am transmission really yes jackie man you are right and so uh what we need remember is it's way astray uh radio frequency that is in such a strength that it's not it's not supposed to be in your house like I measure as as high as the minus twenty seven decibel uh at around hundred megahertz. And that yes, is right. like nothing nothing else should emit this frequency. I have to be external to 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 my house and myself. Yes, and also remember they can use your house sixty hertz frequency. They can uh, use very high frequencies, which uh very high frequencies can be condensed, aimable and even ricocheted off your walls. Uh, yep. And they can piggyback these lower frequencies that affect the human being. Uh, the lower frequencies being anywhere from uh, 1 hertz in the ELF range to uh, 300 hertz. Uh, then you get up into the... Uh, actually, you can go all, all the way up to 2 megahertz affects uh, human beings, if aimed correctly. Uh, but uh, remember what Dr. Robert Duncan said about EPR, electron perma, perma magnet uh, resonance, EPR. I posted this uh, link earlier in the chat. Uh, again, I finally got on the uh, NASA Tech Brief link. It finally came up. They were blocking me from it at first. I placed this on the chat. So if you back up on the chat, you can get that link. Um, and that was a very important link, uh, the NASA tech link. If you didn't get that, I'll post it again real quick. Uh, let me bring that up. Uh, and that is about, um, uh, squids, which is superconductor quantum interference devices. 
All right, I'm going to post that link again to the NASA Tech Brief site on Beacon. EPR and squids. Uh, there it goes on to the site. If you want to read about that, that'll tell you. Uh, and again, read up on mu metals. That's M-U-M-E-T-A-L-S. And they got mu from the Greek letter mu which represents permeability in physics and engineering formula. Um, there are a number of different property formulations of the alloy are sold under trade names such as mu metal, mu metal, and mu metal II. Uh, so if you can afford to buy good shielding, Mu metal is a good shielding because, it, like Dr. Robert Duncan said, it uh, affects the electron span. Hey, Dwight. Yes. Segway really quick. I just got done watching a news segment on the D.C. Uh, killing of the uh, African-American wo uh, woman with the child in the car. And yes. they're, they're already trying to build a delusional case against her. But they had her entire family. There were about nine or ten people standing uh behind her saying that she's not delusional. Oh, good. Five-hour call termination notice.